Hi, this is Mark Wilbur from LogicMason.com, and I'm talking about my experiences in Hack Reactor. For those who haven't seen the earlier videos, Hack Reactor is a really, really, really intense school for learning JavaScript and web development in San Francisco. It's 12 weeks long, and pretty much as many time you're awake, you're you're learning stuff. Um, goes from 8.45 in the morning until 8.30 at night, but a lot of students, uh, including myself, usually stay quite a bit later. I'd say I go home more like 10 or 11, sometimes even at, even after midnight. So, um, yeah, it's, it's full time. It's six days a week. The one day we get off is Thursday, but a lot of us are still in the school on Thursday because there's so much neat stuff going on and there's so much stuff to learn. Anyway, um, last time I, I did a video right before the break. We do six weeks, and then we get one week off, and then we do six more weeks. Now I've just finished week eight. The break was really good for me. I didn't really get much done on my personal project, but I caught up on sleep and so forth. Um, once I got back from the break, there was, a, there was a big rush to finish up the personal project. I had been planning on making uh, an interpreter for Scheme and then embedding that in my web page. Um, just like having an interpreter where you could type Scheme into a, a text area on a web page and, and run it. Um, my, one of my instructors, Sean, thought I should do something more ambitious. So what I ended up doing was making my own domain-specific programming language for that robot game that I mentioned a couple videos ago. Um, so it's it started off as scheme, but then it kind of kind of morphed into uh, something just totally specific to that uh, that game, and it uh, it was really stressful. I barely finished it in time. Like I was literally like working on it uh, a couple of minutes over the deadline to when all the students had to start presenting, but I got it done, and my classmates were pretty forgiving, still gave an applause and everything. Oh, and there, there are a whole bunch of new students. So after six weeks, we, you know, we left, we had our break. Once we got back from the break, it was uh, the older class, like the original, let me back up here. There was uh, a class who was halfway done when I showed up. They were the first class at Hack Reactor. My class was the second. Uh, about halfway through our class, they graduated and they all went off and got jobs. Fortunately, every single one of them is, uh, is hired in some capacity now. Um, then after they left, we went on our break. And then when we got back, there was a batch of new students just starting from the very beginning. Um, it's pretty cool. Like um, The school was really hard to get into for my batch but the bar has only gone up as, as they get more momentum and these kinds of schools in general get more momentum. Every batch is harder and harder to get into. Um, from what I understand, they're interviewing like six people every day and not everybody who applies gets an interview. And there are only 20 spots in a class. My class was 15, now they're 20. So that comes out to significantly lower um, accepted student to applicant ratio than than any colleges in the world that I know of. It's 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 under one percent. So as a result, like everyone in the new class is, is pretty cool. Um, I I knowing, you know, what the odds were like when they got in, I kinda chatted with people trying to figure out, you know, what was what was the neat reason why they got in the class. And some of it was pretty obvious, like they were just, you know, super uh, academic performers, but others had, had really interesting backgrounds. Um, one has a gigantic YouTube channel with, uh, you know, bazillions of followers, and and uh, uh, one was like a hardware engineer who's switching gears. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Like just like my class, it's kind of a, a mixed group. Some were CS majors who wanted to be. Uh, wanted to like get out of IT and do more serious software development. Some were, you know, people who could program but just didn't know JavaScript. Some were just not programmers at all. Um, and one guy, I don't know what he's doing, but there's 
There's one guy who seems like he's uh, he's already a really good JavaScript programmer. Um, but there there were I would say the majority of students were were mostly starting from scratch, but they they got some homework to prepare for our class, and uh, and I believe their uh, their performance on that homework was was part of what led to their selection. Anyway, new class, they're really cool. Um, they were also very supportive for for all of my classmates' demos. We all we had to demo our our individual projects, and it was pretty neat. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, and they they matched us up like in mentor mentee pairs. I'm I'm mentoring uh, another game named Mark. I don't know what it is with this school, but uh, there are a zillion marks there. Um, the old class before me had three, I think. Um, yeah, so it's uh, yeah new 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 classmates. Things are going pretty well. There's also let's see, we've mostly finished. Well, no, that's not true. So we we had already done quite a bit before the break. We had done Backbone JS, which is a, a client side framework. We had done Node JS, which is uh, like a server side command line JavaScript, which can be run or can be used to make web servers. And it's usually, I think, usually used to make web servers, but it can do all kinds of other stuff. Um, after getting back from the break. We finished our personal projects, and then we we started working with uh, a library called D3, which is is used for making really neat data visualizations. Um, that was a lot of fun. Now we're doing group projects, so we've broken into groups, and uh, each group is going to make something something different. My group kind of we've, we've we're, we're iterating. We're already on our second idea, but uh, I think this one's pretty good. Our plan is to to make something that that uses the GitHub API, and it's going to be a, a fairly complex uh, CRUD app. CRUD is create, read, edit, and del or create, read, update, and delete. But uh, it's it's not using Ruby on Rails. We're using Node.js and and Express, and on the front end, we're using a, a framework called Angular JS that Google makes, which is Similar to Backbone in some ways, but but I think it, it abstracts a, a bit more and uh, is a bit easier to maintain with bigger applications. We'll see how it goes. It's, it seems pretty cool so far. Anyway, um, yeah. So things are things are moving along. It's pretty fun. I had a chance to demo my uh, my my robot game with all the enhancements I did since over that week I wrote a programming language for it, added quite a bit to it. Had a chance to demo that at a JavaScript meetup, and that was cool. Like that was the first time I've I've ever presented in that kind of environment. I used to be a teacher, so every day I I gave all kinds of presentations and did did a lot in front of large groups of people. But those people were generally a, a whole bunch of eight year olds and their parents. So so this is a little bit different feeling, and it was it was neat that it went well and and professional developers watching it uh, had a had a positive reaction from it. Uh, that was that was pretty gratifying. For the the next week or two, my main focus is going to be the the group project. I think we're going to learn some Ruby on Rails after that. Um, in what time I have on the side, I think I'm going to be just putting some time into a book on uh, JavaScript design patterns, so it, it should help me, you know, just cement what I've learned at Hack Reactor even more, and put me in position to hopefully uh, do the kind of job I want to do afterwards. Anyway, it's super late. I'm gonna crash, but uh, until next time.